This is the only toolkit beginners need for FPV because having the right toolkit, whether it is to fix your drones or to build them, is gonna make the job easier. This is my toolkit, which lives in my backpack, but if you only had one toolkit, which needed to serve you both in the field, as well as on your bench, this is the one I'd recommend, and it's the Newbie Drone Toolkit. Whether you're building a drone, making repairs, or doing your pre-flight checks, most of the screws that you're going to come across require a hex driver. The three most common sizes are one and a half mil, two mil, and two and a half mil. While for whoops and a lot of the nanos, you're gonna need a precision Phillips head screwdriver. Removing props from whoops, which are usually secured by pushing them on, can be a real pain to remove. Having a pry tool such as the one that comes in the kit is just gonna make that job a lot easier. For quads that use team out motors, like what is on most micros, you're gonna need a one and a half mil hex driver. And for your five millimeter shaft motors and props, you're gonna have the included prop tool, which includes a ratchet. Soldering on a receiver, reattaching wires that have come loose in a crash, or building a drone from the ground up, you're gonna need a few tools when it comes to soldering. The first is a decent soldering iron, and while the included soldering iron isn't the best that you can buy, it is compatible with the TS100 tips, and the fact that it's included in this kit makes it more than capable. I have a TS100 that I use on my bench, and I've been using the one that's included in the newbie drone kit whenever I've needed to make infield repairs. It hasn't let me down so far and has been up to the job for anything that I would be doing with my normal TS100 anyway. You can power it directly from a 4S or 6S LiPo, as well as any 12 to 24 volt DC source. The included flux pen will make your soldering work a lot easier and cleaner. You can rest your iron on the holder and by adding some water to the sponge, you can clean your tip in between welds. There's an included roll of solder. You can even learn and practice soldering with the included solder practice board that comes with version 1.5 of the toolkit. Precision tweezers are very useful for holding wires in place when you're soldering and have come in handy when doing infield repairs. The included wire cutters are useful not just for cutting and stripping back wire, but because they're really sharp, I've even used them to trim TPU to get me out of a few tight spots. There are a few little extra items that I've added to my kit, and I'd recommend you do so as well. To fix any wire that may get damaged or break, I've got a small amount of silicon hookup wire, and I have this in a number of different colors, so that way I can always match the color to the existing wire. Soldering battery leads to the ESC can be quite difficult because they do often require a lot of heat. So having the C4 solder tip makes this work a lot easier. The BC2 tip is great for motor wires and for most other pads on the flight controller. When soldering, you can make mistakes or bridge pads and being able to quickly fix that will stop you from destroying your components. I use three millimeter Goodwick and it's helped me get out of trouble many a time. One thing that can ruin your day is not being able to secure your props to your motors and having spare prop screws for team out props or spare prop nuts for five mil motors means that if you ever need them, you're going to have them. Never underestimate the power and the versatility of the humble cable tie. This whole toolkit is wrapped up in a nice case, which fits really neatly in my bag. And even if this is your only toolkit and you're using it both on the bench and in the field, just having everything contained in the one place means that you're never gonna lose stuff.